Well, I did research into breastfeeding and what I was looking at is how long do women continue to breastfeed? We know that they're recommended to continue at least to 12 months and breastfeeding should be the only thing their baby has for the first six months, but that's not what happens in Australia. In fact, 40% of babies are not breastfed at all by six months. So. What I did was I looked at breastfeeding outcomes at four and six months using a cluster randomised controlled trial design and we found that we're able to significantly increase exclusive breastfeeding at four months thanks to an intervention provided by practice nurses. I think anybody can help with making this change in behaviour but the key features we found which was consistent with the literature was that people needed to have training, they needed to know about breastfeeding, they needed to know how to effectively communicate with their patients and we used a motivational interviewing model so that they were supporting patients to move towards a goal. And in fact that was one of the reasons why the model was attractive to the practice nurses because there was no way they wanted to beat mothers around the head. They were quite keen however to have something they could offer mothers wherever they were at and we talked about the stages of change model where the mothers offered them a red, yellow or green traffic light type signal when they talked about breastfeeding for longer. Well what we devised was an A4 page laminated flow chart for the practice nurses and that helped them to identify when they said to the mums, well the recommendations are these, how do you feel about that, how would that work for you? They were able to identify whether the mother's response was no, not going there or oh not really sure if I can or I want to do that or perhaps yes, that's for me, straight ahead. So the practice nurses had a specific intervention that, to then follow through with the mothers depending on how they responded to the question.